Creating a fleet management system is a challenging task. A lot of events uh, they are out to process and the results should be given in real time so that the decisions can be taken in real time. There should be accuracy of results and you have to correlate between the events generated and uh, you, you need the flexibility to edit the queries easily to suit the business needs. So CP has all these facilities as a bundle. Uh, so let's look at the architect of the solution here. Geo dashboard of CP is itself a jaggery application. You can define various uh, execution plans to the admin consoles. And the event flow is evaluated by those execution plans and the outputs are shown in the map. First, let's, let us have a look at how to set up the dashboard of uh, CEP. You need to log in to the CEP using this URL. Let us use default username and password admin admin. And after you have logged in, go to the application list and uh, click on Geo dashboard URL and you need to log in to the geo dashboard using default username and password and after you have logged in you will see a map is loaded this is the map of sri lanka and then you have to set up the dashboard to set up your dashboard you need to give the ip and port of the cep servers and you have to create a database called by wso 2 geo and point to that you can configure CP queries, CP extensions, and the Jaggery servers and refresh the view. And uh, after that, uh, let us see how we can use this map to demonstrate the fleet management behavior on different conditions. First, let us have a demo on the speed alerts, how they behave. So uh, you can go to the set alerts and speed alerts and uh, set a, a speed. Basically what we demonstrate is uh, if a vehicle is moving more than this speed, we will be given a real time alert. So you can deploy the query and then we have a, a data agent uh, written simulating uh, the geo coordinate feed uh, basically what it reads uh, does is it reads from a file and input uh, uh, geographic data the coordinates uh, so then uh, you you see that uh, the vehicles are moving around so uh, let us uh, have a look at this uh, this vehicle moving upward here So, uh, if, if its speed has grown more than the speed we have set, we will be given an alert. So, that's the idea of uh, speed alerts. So, you can search for the relevant vehicle as well. Uh, in the right side of the uh, uh, dashboard, you can see the real-time uh, speed variations and also the alert that have been triggered for this vehicle Let us see how to implement speed alerts behavior with WSO to CEP. This goes with the architecture we previously described GPS data over HTTP is the geo coordinate feed that comes into CEP over HTTP protocol basically it is an event adapter in CEP if you go to configure input adapters, you can see GPS data over HTTP adapter is there. So, uh, WSO2 CEP supports several types of input adapters like email, file, HTTP, JMS, etc. For a particular type of adapter, adapter type, users can configure the properties there. So GPS data over HTTP is fed into 
tracker JSON builder. Essentially, it is an event builder in CP. What it does is convert in the stream that comes over HTTP into individual events. Input mapping type is JSON, and uh, a particular event has ID, timestamp, latitude, longitude, etc. Then we create a stream called raw input stream out, uh, out of that. So raw input stream has raw input stream has this definition. It is called a stream definition, and this is an sample event. Uh, you can see we have all the data there. So then raw input stream is fed into into the standardizer. This is a uh, this is a uh, event processor which generates an ID for the events that comes in. It set the new field called event ID for the events. It outputs a new stream uh, with the modified uh, modified events. It is called standard special events. So this is the uh, stream definition of that then it is fed into this uh, logics these are the cp queries executed on events that comes in it has special methods uh, called geo colon geo proximity etc so these are comes with an extension that we have put into cp so uh, you can write cp extensions and put them into components lib folder so you can see geo proximity and LL chain notify extensions are there so uh, we, we are maintaining uh, uh, github uh, with those sources and if you go to this url you can view the sources So after those events processed event by CD queries inside CP is then fed into processed special event stream. It has two new fields called uh, state and information. It, state can be one or more of uh, speed, proximity, stationary, alert, uh, alert types, etc. Uh, and in the description, in the information, we have uh, the the description of each state so then this it is fed into another CP event processor it decides whether to notify the events basic based on the priority etc so it needs to notify if it is not need to notify it adds that into the event alerts output stream so event alerts out output stream uh, has these uh, uh, definition uh, it also generates the stream called few special events it has boolean field whether to notify the event then uh, to show the alerts we need to convert them back using formatters so MySQL formatter formats the events to be inserted into the database while GeoJSON formatter converts them into JSON so that they can be sent to the jaggery server. So this is the JSON output of a particular notification. Then we define output adapters to send out the notifications. So now CEP has a WebSocket support. So the notifications to the Jaggery server can be sent via that. And also we have a, a, a adapter for MySQL as well. Let us now have a look at other demos, uh, the stationary alerts. 
स्टेशनरी अलर्ट मीन्स इफ अ पर्टिकुलर व्हीकल स्टैंड स्टिल इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया मोर देन सम टाइम इट इट जनरेस एन अलर्ट सो यू कैन डिफाइन अ एरिया लाइक दिस सो सो यू कैन डिफाइन स्टेशनरी टाइम एस वेल गिव अ नेम एंड यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट दो डिटेल्स इट वैन एक्सटर्नल फाइल एस वेल so to define a scale alert go to scale alerts and then uh, for demonstration purposes i will keep this as it is and publish some data using the data agent uh, simulating the uh, latitudes and longitudes so you can see uh, vehicles has begun to move Uh, or uh, one vehicle with ID twelve has already moved into this uh, area. We have defined, so we have missed it. So we 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 will uh, will wait for an another vehicle to come in. So one vehicle is coming in now into the uh, area. After it has stayed in area for four seconds, it it has generated an alert. So likewise, uh, stationary alerts can be dem demonstrated. So uh, if some vehicle leaves the area, it generates alert again and it becomes blue, which is which indicates normal. so uh, so to draw an area uh, the geo dashboard of cp has uh, facilities so you can draw polygons you can draw square or you can draw circles so to draw a polygon click on somewhere and uh tap the mouse like this uh, make sure you have close the polygon completely so you can give a name uh pen's name and uh, and a particular time uh, so that uh, it generates an alert after that time is elapsed for a particular vehicle that is stayed in that area so now let us demo the proximity alerts proximity alerts means uh, if some vehicles come uh, too close to each other it generates an alert so you can define a proximity like this in meters and uh, how much how how much time uh, uh, to generate the notification so the query has deployed successfully now i am going to publish the data again so as soon as i published data several notifications has generated that means uh, the uh, all the all the vehicles we have now is uh, in proximity to each other so you can see uh the vehicles are colored in pink so so they are in proximity to each other so uh, if you if you click on one vehicle you can see the details so likewise wso to cp can be used to process real time events and generate useful alerts it has ability to process millions